Yo, so welcome to this new series. We'll be exploring movement study, which feels we can study where to study movement and uh, how, what to do. I'm going to be showcasing some exercises, things like that. Uh, let's start with where to start, because uh, if you want to get into movement practices, uh, some areas will be easier to start in than others. It's sometimes good to build a, a good base before going to some more intricate movements. Uh, so there's really one thing that I recommend a lot, and it's calisthenics. Uh, this can be for beginners and advanced people. It's very customizable, and uh, basically what it is, it relies on body weight uh, to build the muscle. Uh, so body weight exercises such as the squats, sit-ups, push-ups, pull-ups, uh, if you're getting into slightly more advanced stuff, you need to be doing the dips. And then the pull-ups are slightly advanced. You might want to start with rows. Um, so maybe just to give you a little idea, I'll go through these exercises. And uh, if you're not quite sure where to start, just do maybe 10 of each. Uh, these will be like, for really for beginners. Do 10 of each every day and you will see some results. I promise. Um, so, start with the squat. Knees, you should stay on top of your toes and you squat. It's good to get a bit of depth, like you get really deep, but uh, that requires a bit of mobility. So, go as deep as you can and uh, work your way up. Then, if you want to work your core, you can do some sit ups or some crunches. Well, that is fairly simple. I'm sure you've seen them before. Well, it's just doing this motion, and if you want, it's one little tip I have that will really help me engage my abdominals is to uh, so your your hips. You want to keep them like pushed that way, and uh, you're trying not. To move up on the floor, so as you sit up, uh, so here's a comparison. So that's what I do, and here's what I used to do. I don't know if you can see, but the hips are like blocking on the floor. And that's not what you want. If you do that, it'll work on your legs, but if you keep it there, it'll focus on your abdominals. So try and just Keep your hips stuck to the floor. Uh, next, do the push up. So try and keep your elbows somewhat tucked in, maybe 45 degrees. That'd be all right. What I see a lot of people do is they do the 90 degree push ups, and that's not very good uh, for your strength and your articulation. So just you'll see when we tuck your elbows in a bit, it should feel a lot uh, better, smoother. Um, might not be easier, but it'll feel better. So, push up. So, this one, if you can't do push up yet, um, what you want to do, you need it. You get into the support and you slowly go down and you go down your knees straight down. So that's what we would call a negative push up. If you hear a negative, it's the, um, the motion where your muscle is uh, getting elongated. So there's a pattern when you push, when you do a push up your tricep shortens. If you do the negative motion, it gets longer, but still contracting. So that's very good for building muscle. Um, and then we move on to the pull-up, uh, which is slightly more advanced. I'll show you an exercise which I call the row, uh, which is, you can do this with a lift, but you can also do it in calisthenics with your body weight. So, 
trusty paddle. This would be just like two chairs and you stick a broomstick in between. What should we do? Use the pulling motion. easy. You can try the pull up on the bar. So if you have a staircase you might be able to grab that uh, the top of the staircase do your pull ups. Otherwise you might have to do the park or find a tree. Here's the pull up. You can also do chin ups which will be a bit easier with your palms facing towards you, that shoulder width. Yeah. Always try and keep control throughout the contraction, and the uh, slower, the more you'll engage your muscle. And but you also want to work on speed eventually, but to start, Take it slow, it will be so softer on your joints and the whole muscle itself. And we'll build a bit more strength as well. So, that's it for the introduction to movement training. Start working with calisthenics now. Like I said, you can do 10 of these every morning. We'll start building muscle quickly and it will become easy with time. Mm. And uh, one last thing, if you want to start exploring a bit more, a bit deeper in the movement culture or your body's movement capability, another thing I would recommend strongly is to stretch. Uh, maybe what I like to do is before bed, take 15 minutes just to stretch out my body, especially the legs, to get stiff up, and the neck. Uh, the neck stiffens with stress. So, these are great places to stretch if you also want to stretch your shoulders. Here's just a quick fun little stretch I like to do a lot. Maybe put your hands on the wall. You can also do this on the open. And push down. Pulling your shoulders backwards. So that's one thing a lot of people get into late. It's the shoulder stretches. But you want to you can start working with them soon before your muscle builds because as muscle builds uh, it will stiffen unless you stretch it so when you stretch it you prevent that stiffening and when you keep your body mobile you can even make it less stiff and more mobile through its stretching um, and yeah others are other areas to look into would be dance martial arts gymnastics these are my top three. Um, that's another thing you can do also. Take take a bit of time every day or every week to dance a bit, practice some punches and uh, gymnastics. If you have the, the strength for it, just practice. Well, maybe just practice jumping. Jumping is a great place to start. Uh, and really strengthen your legs. And uh, or some open body. You can do some cartwheels. Yeah, you can look up some tutorials on that. And I'll be posting some later on. But for now, I'm sure you can find some somewhere. And uh, also, one last place, tree climbing. I'll be posting a lot of tutorials on that soon as well. Um, I'll be posting one, my first one Thursday. And uh, every Thursday from then, I'll try to post a new one. Same thing for these uh, movement tips. I'll be posting every Monday. And uh, we'll go through some exercises, other tips, maybe areas to look into, some philosophies, things like that. Anything movement related, we'll have on Monday. And tree climbing on Thursdays. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope this could give you a little idea of where to start. And we'll see you Thursday with some tree climbing tips. 
this and uh, I've been practicing.